good morning and welcome to Gifts on a Budget. My name is Rachel. Coming up to Christmas, everyone's budget always seems to get a bit tighter. So I'm, today I'm going to be showing you one way to uh, save money on gifts for your friends and family. So who here likes cupcakes? Me too. So today I'll be demonstrating how to make a cupcake bouquet. And I'll, I'll be explaining why it's a cheap, easy and adaptable, adaptable gift for any occasion. So what is a cupcake bouquet? Well, it's like a, uh, it's a vase, a gift box or a basket that has cupcakes arranged onto a piece of foam using uh, toothpicks to appear as though it is a basket, uh, is it a bouquet of flowers. And it's an edible gift. So a great tip for being for saving money is being organised. Now these cupcakes can be made and decorated the day before and then you can assemble the bouquet on the day that you need it. So it's very easy and quick to make. The, the cupcake bouquet I'll be making today, including the, the vase, foam and all of the ingredients that I need, only cost me $9.40. Now compare that to the price that I was quoted from a local baker who quoted me $80 for a 24 mini cupcake bouquet. Now I don't know about you but I don't quote, uh, I don't budget $80 for one gift let alone an edible gift. So it's definitely a big saving and just by uh, being organised you've saved $70.60 so that's great. So it's actually a lot easier than it looks to make. Uh, first you just need to bake your cupcakes, you cool them down, you ice them, uh, shape your foam into a dome shape, put it into your vase or box, uh, insert toothpicks all over the foam, attach your cupcakes, you can tie a little bow if you like, and then you give it to your uh, the gift recipient and then stand back while everyone stares in awe at your amazing gift. and. And it's up to you whether you want to share your little secret or not. So, now I'm going to show you actually how to make the cupcake bouquet. So I've just started already and decorated a few cupcakes. As you can see there, it looks like a rose. Now it, that is a lot easier than it actually sounds. First you just need to get your cupcake here. You don't want them to be too high. And I've got my icing here in a disposable uh, piping bag. You can get these for $3.75 for a five pack and it also comes with the star shaped nozzles. So it's all in there for you. So what you wanna do is just make sure you have a ste firm steady flow press downwards and then in a circular motion go all the way around until you have a rose. I'll just do a couple more of those and you could also flavour these, the icing. So if you you didn't you don't have to use vanilla essence you can also use uh, like mint essence for the green or uh, strawberry essence for red would be really nice, especially the mint with the chocolate would be beautiful. I'll just do a few more of those. This is just a buttercream icing. All of the recipes and costings will be available at the end. I will hand them out for you so you can take them home and try it for yourself. It's a little bit messy, the kids love doing this, they can help you out. And luckily I've got a, a uh, tea towel here because like I said, it's a bit messy. So next what you want to do is, is to get your piece of foam. So this is just a floral decorating foam. Uh, you just get it from any $2 shop, they come in different shapes and sizes. And you just want to use a serrated knife to cut this into a dome shape. Uh, so it's better to do this outside because it's, it's a bit messy, but for the sake of today, I'll just do it right now. So just cut it like that. It does enough to 
be too exact because it's going to be covered in cupcakes and no one's going to pay attention to the foam anyway because they'll be stuffing their faces. Now, now that's done. Then you just want to get some normal toothpicks and then place them in halfway into the foam and then get your cupcakes and then push them into the toothpick to hold it on there. So if you're using a couple of different colours, you just want to alternate them. just makes it a little bit prettier. And you could do this with mini cupcakes. You could do it with muffins. Just whatever. I just lost half my cupcakes. That's all right. These things happen. Just wipe that up there. Luckily I've done quite a few, so. Okay. And if you're a bit crafty, you can also add little bits of crepe paper, like attach them to the ends of the toothpicks and stab them in there for a little bit of extra decoration or little paper hearts. Something like that for Valentine's Day would be really cute. And there we have it, our cupcake bouquet. I've done it right there in front of you. So it's as easy as that, really. Just see where I'm up to. So, as you can see, it's really so easy because I've done it right in front of you. You've seen me do it. There's no tricks, no magic. Um, now, also one of the great, one of the my favourite things about a cupcake bouquet is that you can customize it to any occasion or to any person so you can change the color to suit the if the birthday girl's favorite color is purple you can make them purple if she likes chocolate if she likes carrot cake make them the flavor that that person likes you can change it for the occasion change the color of the box for Halloween you could do orange and black icing Valentine's Day, like I said, you could do little paper hearts, uh, chocolate with red icing um, for a baby shower. It would be a great gift for a baby shower, pink or blue. And also, you, you know, you can jazz it up, add, add different sprinkles or those little flowers you can get at Woolworths, you know, you can make it look professional at a fraction of the cost. And my fa also my favourite thing is that for, for food allergies. Now, I know that a lot of people will find that if they have food allergies or intolerances, if they go to a professional baker, they get that surcharge put on top for the dietary requirements. And I find that's really unfair. So if you have your a favourite uh, recipe or one that you know that works and is a favourite for your that suits your dietary requirement, you can bake that and you're still saving money and also you know that it's going to be safe for your family and your friends and, you, and then you're not going to have that extra surcharge so it can be nut free, dairy free, um, gluten free, whatever that you require you can make it to suit you. So as you can see making a cupcake Okay, is it's a lot cheaper than something you would buy from a store and you've personally made it yourself. So it's very easy, anybody can do it, you just watch me do it right here, right in front of you. And I think everyone would love to receive this as a gift, I know I would. Uh, it's great for the person who has everything and says, oh I don't need anything, you know. You, everyone knows somebody like that, oh no, don't buy me anything. Give them one of these, trust me they won't turn it away. It'll be a big hit and the best part is all the extra money that you've saved in your pocket. So does anyone have any questions about this? No? Okay. 
So thank you all very much for coming today and watching this demonstration. I hope you learned something new and you feel confident enough to make one of these at home. So uh, I'd just like to um, hand out some questionnaires and I'd really appreciate it if you could um, complete those questionnaires for me on this presentation today. And uh, when you hand those back to me, I'll give you the recipes and instructions on how to make your very own cupcake bouquet. Okay, thank you. Bye.